观看与 David 和 Sarah 进餐。今天我们在上海的 m i n n e r House， 在这儿呢，我们的名厨啊 David l a r e n c e 要为我们介绍一道法国的传统名菜啊，用法语讲呢就是呃法瓜，实际上就是鹅肝。David， 哇<笑>、so, wow, ，looks so interesting and exotic. I think f a g u a is probably one of the greatest ingredients on the planet. The process is that is that the goose is basically fed, is, is overfed, and and its liver expands. This is about 85-90 percent fat. Fat. Because when people heard about the word fat, they were like, ah,、oh, fat, too much fat. You know,、uh, we have dumpu ro, full of fat. Dumpu ro, yeah. Dumpu ro、right? yeah, yeah. in Chinese cuisine, it's it's, it's it's half fat. There's nothing wrong with fat as long as you don't eat too much of it. I mean, a lot of people might disagree with me. I'm sure there'll be a lot of con- controversy about me saying that, but I actually think that in eating in, in the right amounts and not ex- not in excess, animal fat, if you're not a vegetarian, is actually okay for you.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to balance your diet, right? So yes, it is. This is not. This is not a product. I would say go out and eat every day of the week.、Okay. I wouldn't recommend that. Maybe like once a week. <laughs> once a week. You know, I try to. Eat, I like to eat fragua once a week.、Okay. It's always in my kitchen. It's always on my menus. I'm, I'm a big fan of fragua. And today we're going to、um, to do a, a lot with fragua in terms of showing people different things that they can make with it. Fragua goes back 2,500 years. Well, the idea of fattening geese goes back 2,500 years. And it's really when we when we arrive at the Roman era. Is when we actually start to look at fragu being talked about and used as a singular ingredient from the goose.、Uh, but the French really are the ones who have adopted it, perfected it, yeah, and made it such a gourmet product. All right,、uh, well, sounds cool. And、uh, here it is. Cheers.、Oh. Cheers. A lot of people are used to seeing fragu ready prepared in a restaurant or maybe、ready、in a gourmet、eat. shop, yeah, ready to eat. And, and you know, I think what. What is important to show the home cook today is like it's actually not so scary. You know, one thing that we need to do is this is obviously two parts to the to the to the fragua、mm-hmm. loaf, yeah. And so this is a goose. This is a goose. Goose liver. Yeah. yeah. And、mm-hmm. okay. you can see inside、mm-hmm. here we it, it all becomes very fatty. And literally, if I if I put this in my hand,、mm-hmm. it, you see it, it melts. Okay, it's ninety percent fat. fat. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So what we need to do is we're just going to what we do is we begin to remove. Parts of the of the vein, removing all of the the horrible sort of veiny parts that、mm-hmm. would make your terrine or your dish not so nice. Okay, so once we removed all of all of that, yeah. One trick that I like to use is、uh, I I just take some some cling film. Wrap it up.、I、wrap it up. So what it actually is, it's a it's a it's a poached fragua or a steamed fragua、uh, with rhubarb and strawberry compote and a muscat jelly. So you can see I, I've made a little my own little mold、mm. by taking some this is some simple tin, tin foil. Oh, you use this to make a mold.、Yeah. This is making a mold, and all I do is I just wrap it around, and I end up with a beautiful little. And you notice I keep it flat on the bench while I'm making the mold. Right. That way I get a beautiful flat surface. Okay. Pull out some of this. You know, looks good now. It looks good. We're just gonna, we're just gonna press that in. It's purely raw at the moment, right? So you know right, it's raw.、Right. It's ready, ready to be steamed. We've got our steamer ready to go. We're popping our fragua in, and that's gonna take around four to five minutes. Okay, next we're gonna make the、uh, rhubarb and、uh, strawberry jelly compote of this dish. This is rhubarb. Okay. This is rhubarb. This is actually, 大大黄 I know it means 大黄 but I, I I never saw it. I mean, big in Europe, big in the U.S., Australia.、Uh, I mean, everyone loves rhubarb in in that part of the world. It's a plant. It's a plant. It grows. It looks like celery. It kind of grows like、oh, celery. Oh, it's on. And it's got a little bit of a sourness to it.、Uh, oh. But you often find like apple and rhubarb. Pie, for example,、okay. you know, it's a it's used a lot in desserts, but also is used a lot in sort of savory dishes. This is cooked already. This one is just frozen. Oh, frozen. That's the end. The end result. Oh, this is just 做好的 This is after it. This is after it's been oh, cooked okay. and pureed. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it, and we're going to also add some gelatin because this, this whole. This is interesting. Yeah, this is a gelatin sheet. Okay. I think it's like for me, it's the I, you know some people at home they use a gelatin powder. But、um, I'm not so into gelatin powder. This is, I think, most most professional chefs and professional pastry chefs、mm. much prefer to use this. You need to make sure you break it or fold it, and it's fully so submerged. This looks like some kind of chemical experiment.、Yeah. It, it, well, you know, cooking is chemistry, right? <laughs> and but not hot water, right? If you put hot water, it'll, it'll obviously it'll dissolve. Okay.、Oh. We want it to be at room temperature water, 
so that we can actually handle it and add it to the hot liquid would then melt. Okay, so this is So we're just gonna we've, we've preset our uh, induction range here to number six on the Miller range. So good. Yeah, it's good. You smell oh, those beautiful. lovely fresh mm. aromas sweet, that are coming off. Yeah, yeah, sweet and a little sour. So now that now that we've Sarah, we've got our uh, we've got our compote. Beautiful. You know, ready, wow. to be, ready to be pure, but it's still very rough, and I don't, I don't want a rough pure. Already, okay. So I'm going to I'm going to just what's this? Blend. This is this is every chef, every chef's got to have one of these. Interesting. And it's it, it makes life so much easier. Look at this. Uh, Instantly, we're going to get a beautiful pure. Already. Very scientific. We, we, we did our. You asked. Oh, that uh, Jonathan. Yeah. Okay, how? Um, you know, you asked me before. Oh, yes, 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 how long yes, yes. does it take? Oh, right, right. right? Okay. It doesn't take very long. Mm, see. No, a few minutes. A few mm. minutes. So we're going to use. Are oh, you going to put it in? Yeah. I mean, obviously, in the recipe, it'll have the exact quantities. Right, right. I'm dropping it into the hot liquid, mm. and I'm going to stir it. Okay. You see now. You can see it's starting. To, you can Very see it melting, nice. right? Yes, it looks like yes. water. Mm, it's mm. actually the gelatin melting into into the puree. Okay? okay. So you can see now. That is now. Oh, it's a, it's very balanced. Balanced. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Mm, it's That's ready to be used. Mm. Oh, this is the thing you you yep. put in the steamer before. So it's now right? come out of the okay. steamer. Mm. We're going to remove the plastic. Mm. And because okay. it's, it's nice and it's hot and a little bit a little bit uh, molten, okay. we're going to put it into the into the fridge and allow oh, it to set. Okay, from the Okay, it's So now now we're going to add. What's in happening? Our, you see, our puree has cooled down. Yeah, you can see it's already starting to feel. A, Obviously, it's not going to set until we put it in the fridge. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> and that goes back into the fridge. There's a lot of going. Yeah, through from the okay. Fridge one, right? It's going to work out for you. <laughs> it's set now, okay? Oh, it's Nicola. now it's now right. mm, mm. completely set. So we remove now our foil. Uh huh. Yeah, and you can see this frog on the bottom. Oh, that's now nice and set. I saw the frog. And that's on top, oh. nice and set. Okay, you can roll that around and. Beautiful. It doesn't go Beautiful. Anywhere, now okay? it's. Wow. Starting to make sense slowly but surely. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm. So. Wow, what's this? Okay, here we go. You're gonna play with uh, fire? Another essential tool. Oh, wow. Is a, a blowtorch. This helps. Just stay away. You see, by doing this, you're just, you're just warming up wow. the sides and then you can feel it. Oh, um, out it comes. Yeah? If you didn't do that, you'd be trying to pull it out. It's hard to take it out. It wouldn't be working. Oh. Yeah? That just, fun, makes, fun, that just fun. makes it super wow. easy, okay? This is the final step, all right? Mm -hmm. Um, so you can see we've got it on a nice flat tray. Yes. Mm. We're going to pop the other ring on, and okay. the magic is going to happen very soon. Okay. Okay. So I need to pay attention. When you when you position this, you got to make sure that you position it fairly evenly. Okay. okay? So that centered. Centered. Uh, mm. Nicely centered. Okay. So now that we've positioned our, our ring mold in the perfect location, okay. nicely centered, we've got one more step to do. One more. And we're going to make a jelly. Way. To go Jenny, all right. And this is a sweet wine, right? This is a muscat. It's, it's kind of, it's, it's, it is in the sweet wine family. Sweet wine? Okay. You could use, I also sometimes use Sauterne, which is Sauternes another sweet wine. Okay. Mm. Something like that. You could even do like a mixture of port and muscat if you want to. Be, be, be creative. We're just going to, we're going to bring this up to temperature mm. so that we can add again our gelatin, right? We've done. I'll put that in the wine. Yep. Yeah, you saw the oh, step we did earlier. Okay. We've melted some more gelatin. Okay, quite interesting. We're heating up our wine. Mm. Okay, so. Uh, we're just gonna, we're just, all, all we're doing is <laughs> that's all we're doing is just melting, simply dissolving the gelatin in the wine. This is 100% alcohol. No, 100% alcohol. I mean, by that I mean we're not adding anything else to it. It's purely the wine and gelatin, and that's it. It's gonna be very sexy. And if you taste that, mm. how's the taste? You know, it's good. It's like hot wine. I don't know. It reminds me of Christmas. You know. Mmm. Yeah. Good, good. I like sweet wine. Mm. Is it taking that away for a minute? You're gonna pour that wine. Yeah, we're sweet gonna pour wine. the wine, but we need we need okay. something to hold hold down the whole the whole sort of contract thing here. Okay. And we're gonna add some plastic. You can see that's actually got oh, yeah, yeah. plastic now there. Okay. We're gonna pop in our. Uh, uh, now we pour in our sweet wine. You got to cover it. You got to make sure the whole thing's covered. 
Oh. Okay. You see, no, you see that we've got, if I pick this up now, it, it, it holds. Oh, yes, okay. yes, yeah, me, me, no, And, no, I, and no, I've, no. I've made sure it's nicely positioned there, and then I'm going to pop this in. Uh, into the fridge. Okay. So here we are, Sarah. This is the... Oh, I remember. This, this. Yes, this is, this is the, the mega dish. So we, we take away, you know this, this plastic we added earlier? We can remove that now, right? Mm. Okay. So mm. this is a little trick we Oh, have. this thing again. Yeah, this thing again. Fire. So just to make sure that... Nice. Yeah. Nice. Now. Mm. nice. now I'm used to this now. And look, you see the layers we have inside now? Uh, so have, many layers. Yeah, it's beautiful because we have the fragua, mm. we have the, the rhubarb and strawberry uh, compote jelly there. So we're going to serve this with a little bit of the brioche, which we made earlier. Oh, okay. Remember we put that in the oven. Put a little bit of brioche here, okay. Okay, watch this. Use it as part of my, my garnish. Mm, beautiful. Now it looks even more tempting, tempting. I want to show you what it was all about. All right. Mm. We see the inside. Wow. See that? Wow. Try that. So many layers. Mm. It's all worth it. Thank you, David. The so next dish. This is this is this is a really fun dish. Um, I think everyone knows what a brulee is. Yes, one of my favorite desserts. This might surprise people a little bit. We're going to make a, a frog wa brulee, but this is not a dessert. Okay? It's not it's dessert. It's not a dessert. This, this it's a main course. As I've said a few times about frog wa, it's perfectly acceptable to serve frog wa with a sweet element, with a sour element. Mm. Okay, so in, in, yeah, so this is a very, it's going to, be, going to be rich. This is a rich, a rich dish. So we're going to preset the the, the reduction to around six. Okay. So we're pre-setting it. And this is for uh, no cream. cream. Cream, okay, cream. Creme brulee. Creme brulee, okay. that's where creme brulee is from. We need to add I've got a little bit of this wonderful sea salt. Uh, Pepper. Uh, I'm just going to break it up a little bit. I'm going to mush it up. You don't have to worry about it be beautiful because we want this whole thing to dissolve anyway. Okay, and we're going to add that into our cream. You see, it's already like, see how, see how easy it is? And I'm just going to also put like a little pinch of sugar. This one, you stir and heat for how long? How many minutes? Really, just all I'm trying to do here, a few minutes. A few Not too minutes. long. Oh. Anyway, you see, you see how it's all the colors changing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. You know, and it's heating up and look. Let me From just... uh, white to yellow. I think we need a little, little bit more salt. Another, another thing to, to remember about frog is it needs salt. You've got to have the right amount of salt. Yeah, yeah. You're going to use that thing. What's the purpose of this? Puree, look how smooth it's going. Ah, look at that. Okay. Ah. You know, I'm getting all those flavors incorporated, right? Mm. I'm going to take my eggs, mm. okay? I've got okay. whole eggs there, mm. and I'm just going to add them in. Okay. Now you can see the, the egg colors coming in. Okay. Yeah, look okay. at that. Okay, right. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice. It's like a mixer. Mixer. That's it. I would, rec I would recommend everybody has one at home. <laughs> Home cooking. It's a hand blender. Uh, we'll just call hand it a hand blender. Blend. Hand okay, blender. hand blender. Okay. As we said, the next thing we do is we're gonna pour it into our strainer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what that's gonna do is you'll see you'll see exactly why we did that in a second. Oh, now you, you get see? all the stuff all those, you don't like. Yeah, exactly. All the bits we don't want. Right? All right. They've all been. They've mm -hmm. all. They're all out. They're gone. We don't want to see those again. Um, I'm gonna pour it into a I'm gonna pour it into a jug again. Look how beautiful and Measure, smooth that is. See that? Just beautiful. Mm. Is this not for measuring? Oh, it's not. Okay. No, 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 no. This is actually. If I try to pour from my pot into the container, mm -hmm. what's going to happen yeah, is I'm going to I'm going to make a mess. Yeah, exactly. mess up. So at least at least this way, I can exactly control the, the amount quantity. Yeah, yeah. Mm. and I don't get anything mm. on my rim. No. I get a beautiful nice, nice and clean. There we go. Mm. Okay, so we're going to pop this in the steamer. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna preset. I have already preset the steamer. I should steamer, say. Steamer. One hundred degrees. Okay. Okay. So here, we're gonna pop it in our steamer, which we preset to one hundred. Yeah, yeah. If I'm how long you need to leave them in there? It's gonna take about about ten minutes. Ten Okay, 
So, Sarah, our um... more champagne. Yeah, more champagne. So, you know. More champagne. I don't know. You don't have to have any. Okay. So um, here we have. This is the um, Fragua Creme Brulee. Yes, exactly. Organ Jiao Tang Puding. So last step is we're going to put a little bit of. Um, I've got like a larger grain uh, sugar, sugar here. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. I'm going to put my sugar around. Mm. Sugar around here. Mm -hmm. Blowtorch. Remember we were. All right. You know, oh, again. Again. The thing. Again. Oh, blowtorch. Uh, I can't do fragua dishes and not make it a little bit technical. Okay. okay. This it's is one very, of those like, very like scientific experiment. It's like in a lab. Although I, I got the next the next one I have, the next fragua dish is very simple. So okay. you don't need any equipment. You just need to. You just need a frying pan. Beautiful. So wow. look at that. So there we go. We burn the sugar. You want to get a little bit of burnt, burnt. Jiao no. tang. That that's how jiao tang comes. Can you use like a match or oh, no, lighter no, no. or something? No, no, no. But look at that. See that? That is exactly what Beautiful. you want. Beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. And this, this is now. You feel this? It's going. It's going to go hard. This one? You know? So it's hard now. That is our one more thing to do here. Ah, uh, As well, you know, the, the final, final step. Okay, I, I saw this. I, are you going to use this? Hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Uh, I did this. These are just some um, roasted hazelnuts. Okay, uh, hazelnuts. You don't have to do this if you don't oh, want to, but I just want to. I want to add a little bit of. So we can also eat just like this. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just going to add a little bit of an extra. More flavor. Mm. Extra component here, just to just to make it look a little bit, taste a little bit uh, sexier, you know. Here we go. Look, here we go. You gotta try this. Wow. You see, you get this oh, beautiful, okay. crunchy. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And then sugar. Oh, Look at that. Okay. See, you got a beautiful fragua. Sugar on top. It's softened a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Okay, what's next? Uh, this is a sweet, this is a little sweet brioche. A brioche? Yeah, yeah you've heard about brioche, right? I, I did, it's like okay. layu mian bong. So we're just going to toast a couple pieces. That's the first part of our next dish. And we're now doing our pan fried fried gua dish. Pan with, fried the, fried with the honey and, and black pepper. But I want to do a couple of simple quick condiments that people can make at home that are going to be perfectly served nicely with Okay, so this is a yang chong, right? This is an onion, yeah, red onion. onion. Mm. So we're going to make a, an onion jam. Onion jam, yang chong jam. Mm. Obviously, the more, the more sugar we add, the longer it'll keep. You know, the longer it'll go. Right? Yeah, because we'll caramelize it, we'll preserve it longer. Oh, you know, okay. and, and then we keep it in a nice sealed jar. By the way, this is my new favorite knife. I love this knife. Mm. It's so beautiful. It's very sharp. cool. It's very cool. Nice design. I love it. I love it. WMF. Mm. Okay. Oh my God. Coming right. to my eyes. Is it? Really? <laughs> You're crying? Don't cry, sir. It's okay. <laughs> It'll be okay. All right. So we've preset, we've preset to number seven. So some olive oil. Olive oil. Mm. We're going to add in our Yang onion. The fan is on. Kicksing. Mm. A little bit of some bay leaf, okay? Uh, bay leaf. Uh, some cinnamon. Uh, so we want, a, we want a lot of cinnamon flavor in there. That's going to beautifully match our fragua. Some salt. Some pepper. Yeah, some sugar. You know, again, we want this to be a sort of a... So much sugar! Oh, not so much. Just a little bit. You want to stir? Go stir, yeah, stir. Let me do this. This is the easy part. The next one we're going to do is a beautiful fresh fix. Oh, Smell that now. Smell all the flavors. Beautiful. Absolutely wow, beautiful. Wow. Yeah. So fresh. Lovely, and lovely. Yeah. And so again, okay. now we'll, we'll turn that down a little bit. Remind me of like a nature, you know, like a trees it's outside. True, right? yeah, yeah, it's true. It's so really fresh. got this. Mm. More olive oil. Just to. Your favorite right. things. Just to keep it going. Okay, there you go. All right. We'll come back to those things later on and we'll show everyone what it looks like when it's finished. I think now we'll just get to actually pan frying the fragua. Okay. 
So we got a pan, we got this pan fry something, foie gras. Uh, when we're going to pan fry the foie gras, one of the secrets of pan frying foie gras mm -hmm. is making sure that it's super hot. You want a really hot pan. Hot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For that, oh yeah, okay, we want to get nice and hot. Okay. So, mm. we want to get that in. Some of the wufang, nothing there, just the foie gras. Really important, mm. salt, mm. yeah, lots of salt. Oh, nice, good. Fantastic, wow. You want to get Wow. Really nice toasted effect, right? Okay. Send it over, look at that. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we're gonna, mm. I've got my toast over here. Okay. Which we toasted. Okay. Yeah, nice oh, toasted brioche. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's cooking up. I'm gonna add a nice, mm -hmm. generous, generous. Mm -hmm. Generous, a lot. Yeah. A lot, in other words. Of uh, pepper. Mm. Oh, a foamy honey. And my honey. Mm. Okay. Your honey. <laughs> And my honey. This is what I call like a self-sourcing dish. Oh, you see amazing. that? Oh. oh, this is the... Yeah. yeah, so we've got our toast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, our fig, our fig uh, compote, you know, that we made earlier. Okay. Yeah. One with onion jam. Mm -hmm. All right. This is the... Uh, There's our pan-fried frog on top. Looks delicious. Oh. Oh, smell delicious. Mm. And then a little bit of our sauce. Cracked pepper. Mm. Honey. The hujiao sauce. Honey. Mm. A few of these little beautiful little micro herbs this is, here. This is, what is this? This is just a this is scarlet. This is a little oh, micro herb, okay. yeah. Mm. And another little drizzle. Of honey. Mm. Okay, and a little bit more. Pepper. All the pepper. And there you have it, look at that. Fantastic. Delicious. Wow. So, you're gonna try, you're gonna be brave. Try my beautiful dish. Of course, I can't okay. wait. Wow. There you go, and let's get a little bit of fig there as well. Thank there you are. Try, try that and then okay. try with the musket. Mm. It's beautiful. Thank you very much, David. Uh, it's um, fantastic. The whole, the whole process of making frog is just, uh, I, I think it's both artistic and sci scientific. Actually, today I, I realized it's quite um, scientific to make dishes. Before, I thought it's just all about, um, you know, like um, improvs here, here, and here, but now it's like you have to control the temperature, you have to control the measurement, and you have to use those cool gadgets. Little devices. Double <laughs> seven gadgets. <laughs> It's just um, amazing and uh, just uh, magic. Thank well, you very much. My pleasure. Well, it's been fun mm. cooking with you today and dining with you. Uh, this is this is you know cooking is really about having a go and trying. So and I hope everyone gets to try this at home. It's a fantastic experience. Cheers. See you next time. Come A lot of fun. Please.